There's more guys in one place. Okay, fired at them both and... Oh! Dude, that was half an Erebus that we just lost. Uh, and also, we hit this guy as well. Behind cover. I have got two menders with me. Are you kidding me? Two menders. Fire more. Fire more. Fire, fire, fire. Boom, boom, boom. But he's trying to escape. He's trying to escape the rockets. <laughs> but he's still getting hit. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to some live gameplay here with some heavy trolling action. We have the nether robot without the explosive expert, expert skill because we have the dashing pilot that allows us to bypass shields, right? And then we have explosive expert on the Sinead behemoth here for, uh, you know, sh uh, hopefully bypassing through shields when we hit the Sinids, uh from high above with the high splash damage. So let's jump into some gameplay. I think maybe team deathmatch should be the right choice for these type of weapons. By the way, also we have a giveaway going on. 100 Thor battleships in the top right corner you'll find the giveaway. Uh, so make sure to use that chance. Alright, so first match. Oh, it's and it's a long range map too. That sounds pretty good. Maybe this guy. And fire. Oh, here comes, here comes. And... Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, that was a good hit. Nice. I just It's just the reload, man. The reload is so terrible. How, how much range do we have? 800 or more? There's more guys in one place. Okay, fired at them both and... Oh! <laughs> Dude, that was half an Erebus that we just lost. Uh, and also, we hit this guy as well. So they just lost two guys at the same time. Let's go for him and fire. And... Boom, 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 boom. It all went through the shields. Did you see that? It all goes right through the shield because the shield break was active by the time I fired the missiles. And that is a really cool thing. So who do we get to take now? He's getting killed already, so maybe this guy and... Drrrp. I spread them a little bit. And... Drrrp. Ah, that wasn't very good. That wasn't very good. No, 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 no. Problem is the enemy can spawn here to our right all the time. What's that? Okay, it's a behemoth. Fire. And... Yep, that was a decent hit. I'm a little afraid of the enemies that could potentially spawn behind me like this dude here. Uh, with his Kepri. And... Come on. Fire. And are we gonna hit him? Yeah! Ooh, that was even direct hits on the robot itself. I wonder if we can do something about that Kepri here. But we are not very powerful when it comes to applying firepower at powerful tanky robots. Fire and... Rrrp. Apparently it didn't hit, but I was anticipating his movement, I was pre-planning, and I was in the right range. It should have worked. Alright, let's go for, for this behemoth here. Fire. He's still standing still there. Rrrps. Oh! <laughs> I like that, man. Slowing field is on us, okay. But I moved away from it. But if I go back in, I think I'm still going to get slowed. Yeah, it's still active. Okay, and fire. Here comes the rocket rain. Brrrps. Nice. But it seemed to have also uh, taken damage into the enemy shield. Dude, this is awesome. I can just enjoy myself from here and just uh, have fun against those shields. Uh, against those enemies over there. Here comes. Oops. It's really so bad. I mean, <laughs> the damage is so low. Consider you're waiting for that shot for 15 seconds just to deal like, what, 10% damage to a perfect hit and stationary standing target. Here we go. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! That's how we do it in the money town. All right. I like trolling. I like doing my 200,000 damage over the course of one entire match. Yeah. So, this guy, fire, uh, he's going back, is he? Yeah, he's going back. Do you notice every time I make my dash, I have a lag? Every time I dash, I activate that shield break, and then I have a lag. And I don't know where the enemy is going. So, here we go, and fire. Ah, uh, he's, ah, uh, come on. Ooh, okay, okay, I'll take it. I got a kill. <laughs> Big success, yes. Getting a kill with 5% remaining HP. Big success. So this guy is already going down. These guys are standing close together. Fire. Ah! Okay, maybe him? No. Okay, that was a terrible shot. Okay.
Okay, let's get behind cover. He really wants me. Now he's face shifting, okay. Comes out as face shift and fire. And brrrp. Ah, that was really sad. That was really sad, man. He's coming up now. Uh, we're losing this battle pretty fast. And fire at them. Um. Yep, safe from ya. Problem is he's got the shield breaking, so uh, uh the face shift. Fire at him now, which should make a good hit. No, it was zero damage! He just fell from the ledge. He wasn't even able to make any movement changes or anything. It's crazy how much he wants me, dude. He is so in love with me. Look at this. There's nothing I can do. Now I'm even locked. And I can't even attack him now. Because I'm too close to him. And fire. Yeah, that was a good hit. Okay, I did some damage to him. He wants me so much, dude. He comes across the entire map. Follows me in. He's still on me, man! Look at that guy! And I'm instantly locked, too. I'm instantly locked until I'm dead. Alright, so 3.2 million damage. Um, most of that was probably with the Noricum. Some of that at the end with the Titan a little bit, but uh, not much. Uh, and the Sinitz wasn't able to do anything because at the state I dropped it, enemies were all closing in on me. And guess what? When someone simply walks towards you or away from you, Sinitz and Noricums can't do jack diddly squat. Alright, so this time we're spawning the Sinitz behemoth first um, because I want to run it for a little while. There's a few guys standing close together. That would be a good target for my rockets. You're over the cover, maybe? Oh, yeah, I'm hitting. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, he was taking good damage. He was taking real damage there. Let's fire at this champ over there. Okay, I think the first rocket actually made it through the shield. Oh, yes, that went through the shield. It worked. I just got this guy right through his purple, uh, purple pop-up shield. Awesome! So I think I almost overall almost gotten two kills so far with this. Fire to this side, maybe? Ah, uh, he's flying now. Okay. And uh, these guys also flying. Okay, this guy he's uh I'm not sure. No, he's going away. Yeah, he's he's taking more and more distance. And when someone is going further away or closer, my rocket simply can't hit him. These next rockets might be. Yeah, but they only dropped his shield a little bit. And it was a Kepri. A Kepri is simply too mobile, too fast. You can't hit him. So what do we have here? Maybe I can splash him by shooting this corner? Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, dude, he's taking damage. Even through the shield. Shield on me and... Nice! Cool! <laughs> We're actually scoring some damage here with the freaking Sinitz man. That is funny. Uh, I like that the explosive expert can now go through um, shields because, I mean, these weapons are handicapped enough. Don't have to make it any worse by uh, having uh, shield pop ups like this ruin it completely. This guy is getting me worried, but thankfully my team is on the job. Where is he going? He's just hanging up there. Okay. Let's fire. Boom, boom. Wow! Dude, that is damage! That was actual damage that I was just doing. Oh, he's face shifting now. Are you kidding me, dude? I fired two shots and he immediately face shifts. Wait a I minute. Mean, how long did that face... Ah, uh, it must be an angler. Yeah, it wasn't a face shift. It was an angler. And the angler does what an angler does. I could also fire at a Titan. Okay, we're hitting something. Or some shields anyways. We only have 300 meters range, so when somebody goes within 300 meters, I can no longer shoot him. Ah, uh, it's the Angler. 
I angered, I angle, angered the angler. So I'm toast. That's it. All right, back into the next match, ladies and gentlemen. It looks the same, but it is a different match. And um, I'm trying to have a lot of fun again with the Sinites because clearly they were able to do a bit of damage before. When I'm hitting into the spawn like this, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. I think a lot of the guys are just taking some hits over there. Okay, let's shoot a few shots here. Oh, this guy already lost like half his HP, man. Look. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, he's taking more now. Dude, you don't even have to hit accurately to deal damage. It's cool. I like this. Man, the Sinites is really it's really doing a good job. But you can see, you can see. This guy really, really wants to kill me now. Apparently, this has been such a such a um such a what's it uh, traumatic experience for this guy that he has to fly up and attack me. But I'm trying to fight back in the moment when he's down on his ability. Yeah, and we're doing damage to him too. He's gonna start to fly any second now. Oh, he's taking damage! And then he's gonna start to fly in three, two, one. What? Not yet. Wow, I've got back healed. Awesome. I, I've got a, a funny little guy with me. Sending more rockets. Behind cover. I have got two menders with me. Are you kidding me? Two menders. Fire more, fire more, fire, fire, fire. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, he's trying to escape. He's trying to escape the rockets. <laughs> but he's still getting hit. Dude. <laughs> Shouldn't I have two? Menders. I can give them shields too. Ah, he's stealth now. Okay, this guy. But I think I can go through his shield now. If I hit perfectly on him. No, I can't. But the damage output from the rockets is good enough. He's moving so fast. Boom, 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 come on. Yeah, last rockets. Ah. Oh, no, we have a Spear Kepri here. Spear Ke Kepri means death. I have to get out of 300 meters range so I can start fighting him. Now I can. And I can even do some damage to him. Dude, he's going down. Oh! <laughs> yeah, Sinit's counter the most powerful setups now. Yes, of course. And last rocket salvo. Ah, uh, now he's coming towards me. See? Every rocket I fired uh, was dealing zero damage. They're keeping our Titan in the game with the me with the um, with the menders. The mender boys. Fire. Fire. Ah, I'm getting pushed so hard, man. Maybe I can hit that Moogle Mets up on... Uh, and as, I'm, as I'm shooting, he's falling. No, actually, I am hitting him. And I'm going through his shield. You see, he's taking direct damage to his uh, armor, too. That's cool. I like it. I'm dropping the shield at the same time. Hmm. Enemies are closing in, though, man. <laughs> uh, things are getting a little bit uh, tight uh, here in our base. We're just basically uh, hanging out here. Okay, let's fire at this guy. I can't, I can't hit him, I think. Yeah, I'm hitting him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he's taking damage. He's going down. Yeah, come on. Yeah, woohoo! All right, more shields and health for every one of us. We have an enemy in our base and more and more dudes coming in with different weapons. I need them. It would be funny if my rockets could hit him here. Uh, you know, they should really uh, scratch the minimum range arc on, on weapons like these. There's no reason why uh, Sinites and Noricons should be unable to fire at people below 300 meters range. It's just completely obsolete and out, outdated. Um, it wouldn't even make these weapons really powerful. It just would allow you to defend yourself a little bit when you're getting attacked. And most of the time when you're being attacked, those weapons just don't offer enough firepower to fight back. But at least you could technically uh, hit someone. Which currently in 300 meters range, you just can't. Let's see, when this guy falls, 
He activates a stealth, of course. And then, maybe then I can hit him. Alright, we're on him. Sinit's on the job. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's flying already again. Every enemy has flight abilities and they are all invincible as they do this. Alright, let's force this angler into an ability use by putting a couple of rockets on his face. <laughs> Shooting whatever this is in the back. Okay. We're hitting it. He's coming back. Ah, dang it, now I'm reloading. Dude, but we're still in the game somehow. And my team isn't even shooting at me this time, telling me that I suck and that I that they hate me that I'm in their team. Because I'm using Sinit. So this guy... Oh, I think he's behind the wall. I can splash him here. Yeah. Doing some good splash shots. He's behind the cover. I think he's gonna stay there. No, he notices the damage is coming from above. He wants to go away. Oh, it's again, it's a Spear Capri. Those things deal as much damage as five players combined, so we've got to get rid of this guy. We've got to somehow get rid of him. I'm trying my hardest to get the job done. I am doing damage. I am hitting. And someone else was too. Nice. Uh, by the way, we have fully amplified damage output with the nuclear amplifiers. I have two of them on this one. So, uh... Yeah. I can even shoot over this cover. Nice! Gotten a kill here. Woo! Been a while since I saw the last kill. This guy is slowed down by the battleship. Gives me an opportunity to shoot him. Uh, now I can't hit him anymore. It's actually an even battle and my team is all the way on the other side. I think I should probably try and make my way over to them. I'm going to get hit a little bit, but it's okay. I need to get to my team. The only thing that kept me in the game and alive is the fact that my team was really taking good care of me, man. I got to say, man, I have a really, really wonderful team with me. Let's fire empty those weapons. I think it's a Seraph that I'm shooting. I don't know. Whatever it... Maybe it's a Titan because I don't seem to be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, it is a Titan. Okay, that explains why I was doing so little damage. I'm going into my friends here so I can trigger the battleship right next to all of them. Nice, they're all benefiting from this now. That's awesome. I can't hit that Scorpion, unfortunately. But I can hit this guy, and he's locked too. Ah, oh, he's going down. <laughs> I got the kill. <laughs> Deserved. Uh. Okay, I, I, I hit it. Whatever this is, I'm hitting it. Of course it's a Seraph and it can't fly. Yay. There's no one is playing in this Champions League. Some weak robot that can't do something. Yeah, I wish I could fight him. But I can't. I can just show myself. Because the weapon... Look, it looks up now. See, the weapon is impossible. It's not possible to hit him. Now, technically, maybe it would be. Firing, firing. Uh, nope, he's in 300 meters range. Yeah, I'm going down now. Can fire a few more shots. Fire empty. Maybe get this kill. Ah, not quite, but... All right, so maybe it's time to try and get for some uh, Titan play so we can maybe turn the battle around for us. But we need three kills. I'm not sure if we can do this. And this guy, look look at this guy, man. I, I feel like I, I killed him three times already and he's still here. There we go. Ah, uh, battle is almost over. Okay. I'm running away to not get blinded. Wow, I just lost two out of three weapons. Wasn't using my reflector in time. Alright, but um, 
Yeah, ladies and gents, that is, uh, I think that wasn't a bad display of the Sunnites. Uh, also, the Norikum, they, I mean, they can, they can hit enemies. Yes, they can hit enemies. Um, they can also do a tiny little bit of mini damage. I'm wondering if the tour guys left me alive on purpose because it almost seemed like nobody was attacking me. It almost seemed like nobody was purposely at like purposely no one was attacking me if that is the case true tour guys let thank you for uh, allowing this video to be created and not to delete me immediately which any any single one of you could have done in just a second if you wanted to uh but um yeah i mean the sunnites they are fun they they can do damage and it's fun that you control enemies with it but um that minimum range thing it just i, I don't know i kept saying this for years now and pixonic simply does not care why is there a 15 second reload? You barely do damage when you fire that one Norikum shot. Uh, and, uh, and why is there a 15 second reload for it? Dude, five seconds reload would be all that you need for it. It wouldn't be overpowered whatsoever. It would even force some people out of cover. It would prevent a little bit of the camping and stuff. It's a counter to Prisma if you want to, you know, imagine something to uh, as a stone, scissor, paper kind of thing. So it would even have its purpose in the game if it was in any way, shape or form useful. But it's clearly not. Minimum range is the biggest problem. Or, or no, the, the reload is the biggest problem. Uh, the minimum range arc is the next thing that's simply so obsolete. I don't know why it's still in the game. Um, and thirdly, uh, the fact that you cannot hit things that walk away from you or towards you. It is just such a terrible bit design of a weapon. Uh, obviously, the weapon requires some kind of automatic uh, pre-aim in, in situations where enemies walk away or in front of uh, or towards you, so that at least that part, which you cannot influence yourself uh, in the vertical aim, uh, is being taken care of, right? Or simply make these weapons faster, so that you can hit people quick quicker, right? Um, many ways in, you, in which you can improve these weapons. Pixonic is, is, is uh, we need your help with this. You're the only one who can help us with this. We, we can't, sadly. But uh, clearly there's a demand for it and uh, yeah, it would be cool if you take care of it. Yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Tell me what you think about this, uh, about the video and also um, don't forget the giveaway, right? Bye bye. <laughs>